Hi guys, I'm still on my ISO builder here. Yesterday somebody asked me on YouTube, hey, what's the difference between the Linux kernel and the Linux Zen kernel? And I thought, hey, that might be an interesting topic as well. Not that I am a kernel expert by far, right? But I gave him a few links and um, let me share you one of the links. So this one. I said, look, you can always navigate to Arch Linux and then ask, hey, how do we build the um, kernel, right? Scroll, look at this little scroll to the right here. That is the configuration how to, to build the kernel, right? How many lines are there? There are 10,465 settings. End of kernel hacking, that sounds good. So this is the, what did I click now? I think I clicked the Zen. Let's um, click this one here. Another link I've provided him on YouTube. And let's move you here. So that one and that one. How many lines does this one have? So I now have clicked the same link or not. Okay, not the same link, 10,414 and 10,465. So the difference between the kernels is just that, a difference of choices. There we go again, right? Linux and choices. Multiplex drivers, file systems, linear, digital, oh my God, headache, right? But it's this is it, this is the configuration of the kernel. The end result is your personal kernel if you change things in here the thing is yeah, again it requires a lot of knowledge and that's all it requires youtube search google and then we go smarter over time so what we could do is yeah sure compare so what if i go to raw and i do control c and then let's go to the desktop and let's go to create document document one i think it's zen i don't know but did i click first i clicked zen first i think so this is zen this is zen save and then this guy raw control a control c this is the linux kernel Linux kernel, Zen kernel, sudo pacman minus s Linux dash Zen. Right? You got it. So compare. And lots of compare, I guess. So haha, look at that. Config Zen interactivity. Yes. Oh yeah, here it says Arch1 and Zen1. Now we're really sure that this is Zen and this is Linux. Okay. And now what is it going to do? Force irk threading is not set. Okay, and then you just keep scrolling and reading. And it will not make sense, and that's okay. And in the future, it will get more sense about out of it and say, okay, lots of things are not set in here. So hashtag, it's not there. With the hashtag, it's there. Yes, and share queue with your Google app, and so on and so on. So let's give, let's use this question to compare a few things. I see here compress config zst. Is that the one we're using now? X set here. Zst is not set, so X set yes as well. They do want to move more and more to ZST. I've read somewhere, I thought. And um, here it says, yes, huge page always. So we have to look at that. What the, what's that? BR, BBR2. And it keeps on going, which would take too long. But let's put the video online anyway, because well, 
there are more smarter people than me out there. And this is a good way to start to compare how is a one Linux kernel built with what parameters, because in the end, it's all about choices and what do I want to have on my system. And you can, of course, make a kernel just for your CPU and get rid of all the stuff you don't need. So you, you don't have the hardware, basically. Why would you need the kernel to be able to do it, to, to, to know this stuff? Uh, you see accelerometers, BMC, digital converters, amplifiers, sensors, analog converters, clocks, health sensor, humidity sensor. I don't think I have one. <laughs> Light sensors, magnetometer sensor. Oh my God. I don't know. I really don't know. Don't think I got these. And Android stuff as well. Look at that. So the Zen thing has Android stuff in there. The config Android, yes. Uh -huh. And so little by little, and that's the point of the video, of course, little by little, you start to know more stuff about your kernels. And so, okay, some big words that matter, that, that give you an idea mm, that's in there, basically. All right, I'm in the end. Guys, have a look. What, what if, right, you compare these things? Uh, maybe one thing I haven't shown, and that's uh, how to get there, maybe. Um, so let's take another one, Arch Linux, and then um, Hardened, right? another one. What's in there? Click here, a few changes. Click on the last one, five days ago, browse files, trunk, and you can compare the package build between each other. What I've now compared is the configs. So we could have a raw again, a control A, a control C, and then go for hardened and put it in there. In case you were wondering, what's the difference between the Linux kernel and Hardened? And you compare again. And here it says Hardened 1, so we're good. Let's say number 9. Here we're at number 11. So I'll guess they'll update later. And here are the lines, the blue lines. That's where, that's where you're going to have a look. What's the difference? Unprivileged is not set. And privileges, yes. Checkpoint restores, yes. What does that do? And so on. I was just wondering, NVIDIA, is there anything called NVIDIA in here? Config net vendor NVIDIA equals yes. Next. GPU is not set. There are some names in here. I think we're back going up at the top. Is Intel somewhere mentioned? Yes, it is. And maybe you're getting now an idea. I said, oh, is my wireless driver in here? Or is my this or that in here? Uh, you can look. You can look. Do a search. And maybe somewhere down the line it says equals no. And that's the reason why the kernel isn't doing anything for you. All right. This time I'm out. All right. Compare. Let's become smarter. And cheers.